So as much as I would love for every guy to go out and cold approach, you know, at the end of the day, you've really got to be in the right headspace for it. Because for some guys, especially to an extent, it could be a make or break situation for them if their comfort zone is overly pushed and they just don't know how to actually handle that very stressful situation. Now, this video idea has kind of come about simply because the other night I had a consultation call with a guy who told me that he had been smoking cannabis for uh, a very, very long time. And my concern, and I've thought about this and reflected on it after the call, is that my concern would be if he was put in a situation where he got a serious rejection, how would he be able to handle it? Because something that I have seen over the years, especially on the mental health side of the dating industry and communities in general, is that guys usually have two things happen to them in a very stressful situation. They either implode or they explode. So implode is pretty much the obvious one where again the comfort zone has been overly pushed that elastic band effect has kind of been stretched and i've mentioned this in in certainly videos in the past but that elastic band has been stretched and it recoils really really fast and essentially the guys go very introverted they go really shy and they are absolutely petrified and stay away completely from the idea of speaking to new people. You know, they can even go very agoraphobic. They don't want to be outdoors. They don't want to be around others. But when someone explodes, that's when they can have some like psychotic breakdown. And I have seen it and I've heard of it as well in the past with clients I've worked with and also what other dating coaches have worked with or, or even experienced themselves. So it's not an uncommon thing that people can actually go crazy from the simple over push of pressure and stress of cold approaching and putting themselves in a situation that is well and truly out of their comfort zone. So my worry for anyone and this isn't really just for drugs like these are this can also be for guys who maybe have just other addictions to things or are alcoholics or maybe they drink too much uh having an addiction to pornography is is really going to more or less skew your relationship with women and also your attitude to sex and how sex works and how your body reacts to sex but when you're having drugs of sorts especially on a regular basis you have to understand that that is going to affect your uh your overall thinking how your brain neurologically works and that's also going to affect your personality and your behavior so my concern for any guy really if you are thinking about doing cold approaching you have to be of sound mind. Now, if you are on some like drugs or you have some kind of medication, please go see a doctor first and just get some kind of approval that says, look, you are going to be okay in a very stressful situation. So something that I make sure that I do with clients, if I do believe that they aren't potentially, and it wouldn't be fair for me to say that they that they do have some problem, but if they potentially have some mental disorder or issue going on that maybe is covered up by, uh, well, they have a trauma or an anxiety that is covered up by an addiction to drinking or drugs or just alcohol in general, then I'm going to or or I will refer you to go and see a doctor first to get the approval from them that you are OK to go out and do cold approach. As much as, you know, you have dating coaches out there in the world that say like, look, dating is or cold approaching is going to solve all your problems. It's going to override all of your issues and traumas or anxieties. No, they are not qualified to be giving you that sort of advice. 
And even for me, with the few qualifications that I've now got, barely scratches the surface to really what a doctor will say or a psychologist will say. If they don't believe that you are capable of handling such stressful situations of going out on the street and speaking to women and having that pressure of where you might have the spotlight effect on you or it is so far out of your comfort zone, please get their recommendation first before you then go to a dating coach or even to me to then work on this. We need the approval of a medical professional to say that you are of sound mind and that you would be okay to be in this sort of thing. Please do not put yourself out there if you haven't yet got that second opinion because I don't want you to have a potential situation play out where you could have a psychotic episode because it's happened again to people in the past. I can't recall now if I've actually said this already, but it has happened to people in the past and it could happen to you. It can happen to someone even more so statistically if they have been on drugs or on a lot of alcohol and that is flowing through their system. So please, if you are thinking about doing cold approaching, please be in a good place first. If you've got traumas, if you've had bad experiences of things that have happened in you in the past, that can be worked on. But my concern, and this is kind of one of the things that I filter out in the client form that I get people to send me, if there is something there that I believe I need you to get approval from a medical expert first, I'm not saying that to be harsh or rude or blunt or whatever. I'm saying it for your well-being. And I'm also saying it for the well-being of other people that you meet and also for yourself as well. So please take this into consideration if you have some kind of like mental disorder or mental condition or perhaps maybe you do have an addiction to drugs or alcohol, you know, we'll ignore for the moment that if you've got traumas and stuff, that can be worked on, that I can certainly help with. But if you are intoxicated or have other things that can certainly influence your behavior in your system, then do please get yourself checked first. You know, mentally, physically, please do go and see a doctor first before you decide to take action in this area. Because if they don't believe that you are yet ready to put yourself in this sort of circumstance, then we have to kind of consider that maybe we have to take a much more incremental step before you can get to that stage of going out and cold approaching. Or perhaps maybe there are just other or better alternatives for you to be considering that are going to be a lot less stressful too. So I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. I want to put out content that is going to make sure that one, you're going to get your best results possible when you're putting yourself out into the uh, the dating scene, whether it be through the dating communities, through working with dating coaches, or hell, if you're just going to be doing your own thing through dating apps, socializing and whatnot. But I also want to make sure that you are mentally prepared and capable of dealing with the highs and lows of the dating world. It affects everyone in every different way. And through the content that I put out on my channel and also through the requests that maybe you might give me as well, I want to make sure that you are getting the best possible advice before you start taking action as well as maybe in parallel to you doing so. So if you found this video useful, please do like it. Every like does help my channel to grow. Same with subscribing. If you found this useful and certainly other content of value too on my channel. But also let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments below and also any other videos, uh, ideas that you would like for me to make too. But to just finish off, Please, if you are on a lot of alcohol or if you do a lot of drinking or drugs, please do speak to a medical expert first to make sure that you are of sound mind and that you have a good headspace or 
you're in the right mindset to be able to go out and speak to people via cold approaching. I personally, and this isn't uh, medical advice, but I personally think you do need to wean yourself off of any sort of like alcohol or intense level of drinking or drugs that you might be on to at least be in a good place to be speaking to people. So on that note, thank you very much for watching and please do heed my advice. Don't overdo it with this sort of stuff and put yourself in a really good headspace and mindset if you're going to go out and approach women.